Well, today I wanted to show a couple advanced features of Quicksilver that I use often. Um, before I get into that, I want to make sure you're running at least the version I have. So if you go to try and follow this tutorial and the features I am using you don't have, let's just make sure. I'm using B56-3823. So if you're not using that, at least update to the newest version and hopefully those features will be in there. And the first feature I'm going to be talking about is how to launch multiple applications at the same time. Um, this is really, really nice when you when you have a Mac and you're trying to you know get ready. Like for me, when I get ready for podcasting, I want to launch a specific set of applications at the same time. And well, let's get into it. So let's say you just start your Mac up and you want to launch Mail and Safari and you want to launch Adium. So I do this by typing the application that I want to launch and then hitting the comma. So let's go back here and you hit mail and then comma, Safari, comma, Adium, comma. And you can go on for quite some time. Now after you hit enter it's basically going to do all your everything that you've typed into. Now that's not limited to application launching you can append text you can do all sorts of fun stuff and do it all in one time this goes with the notion of act without doing which is Quicksilver's motto basically uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to run specific commands after a delay so let's let's start with some text so this is some text hit enter and it's nice you can see it on your screen that's great almost useless so basically you type out some text so let's say I want to do uh, the discovery channel promo okay hit tab now just by hitting enter it's gonna show up but we don't want to hit enter we want to hit control enter now that brings up run after delay for me at least I have that set as the highest priority you might have to type in run and you'll eventually see that option. Tab over and then you can enter in the parameter. Now for me, just for the sake of this, I'm going to type 4s. So in four seconds, we're going to see my text that I just typed in there. And there it is. Now you can go in here and this is some text. Tab over control enter and you can go down and run it at a specific time now I usually use the run after delay because most of the time I'm trying to set a reminder and like for a television show or just to make sure I'm following my allotted time block for whatever task I'm trying to accomplish and I also put my Mac to sleep at night with this command so I generally stay away from the run at time because that requires me to make sure I know what time. I usually just type in, you know, 15 minutes. So for minutes you type M, so 15 M. I have not tried hours, so you might want to give that a try, but generally my tasks only last in the minute range. If, it, if, if I have a task that lasts an hour, I generally don't set a reminder. But that's basically my advanced Quicksilver tips for today. Um, I'll have some more later. I'm not sure. Um, you can find them on IamTheKiller.net. Uh, thanks for watching.